Everybody, thank you for joining me and three other artists on our Tuesday night Choo Choo Art Train. Camille Amoy is up next, followed by Holly with the Morning Pour, and then Nate Bright Art. See their channel information below in my description. Please subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoy this premiere. Let's get painting. Hi guys, it's Lori Houston with Lori Houston Art. How is everybody? I hope you're doing great. I decided to go ahead and show you a few things before we start the video um, for our Tuesday night choo-choo train. Thank you so much for joining me and the three other artists. And at the end of the video, I go into some of the artists and what I love about each of them as well. So stay tuned for that. I wanted to go ahead and talk to you about a couple things I think is really cool. First of all, the painting that we'll be going over um, today is behind me. And I wanted to share, I got this neat um, off of Amazon. It's like a room divider. And my husband is creating this so that when I talk, I can have the last piece of artwork that I did. And it was really cool. It comes on wheels and I can wheel it out of the way. And then also, we bought this cool tracking system that I thought I would share with you. Very inexpensive. And it comes with hooks for a rail. My husband actually cut these down so that it would fit the bar that's up here. And he spray painted them because they were white. And then it literally hooks onto the, to the room divider. And this slides this little hook, and there's two different hooks that it comes with, it slides up and down this cable so that you can display your art. You could even have three, even if you were gonna go to a show. So I thought this was something I would share with you. It is absolutely amazing. I got all of it on Amazon. And to be able to show my artwork, cause you know, when we're done, a lot of times you don't get to see the dried piece or we may have varnished or resined it and you know we like to share that um, as well so i want to show you four pieces that i have finished in my flower pop series um, so if you remember this one um, this is now finished it is absolutely beautiful i'm gonna bring it up so you can see see the flowers i'll try to get real close gorgeous I love, I swiped with Payne's Gray. It's absolutely amazing. So this one is all ready to go. Now you all remember one of my all time favorites and this one is an all time favorite and I had it in my dining room. I did not want to let it go. I didn't want to separate from it and it is sold. Um, actually when I was showing what I was doing this Tuesday, um, she, she wanted to, to purchase it. So I'm very excited that it's going to a great home, but I didn't want to get rid of it. Another one that I felt the same way was from my video golden. Uh, I love this. It's beautiful. I've put some varnish on it. I'm going to bring it up so that you can just see all the fine detail of these petals. I just love this art piece. This is just amazing. This one is now ready and I am gonna part with these because I keep having favorites. Before you know it, my whole house will be filled with favorites. Don't worry, there's a lot of fails too. <laughs> I don't, I'm not gonna keep those, but these, this one turned out just, just amazing. And I love the song, Golden, that I played while I was actually um, videoing this one. So this one is ready. I love this size canvas when I was starting out too. I think it's a, uh, 13 by 18, I believe, but yeah, I love it. Okay, now here's one from my Peacock series that I'd started. It's actually resined. 
I absolutely love this piece. I'm sorry for the glare. Um, just to show you how pretty this is. This was another favorite, but again, I am ready to let it, let it go into a home. Beautiful. I think it's beautiful. Um, this was a practice piece and I actually swiped with gold. I don't think I did this on camera. Um, I could be wrong. I did one similar. I think I was having video problems then, but just so you can see the petals and I'll bring it up. And I just love swiping with gold. This just turned out amazing as well. And um, all of these have varnish except for my peacock one I did with resin. And then here's a smaller one. This is not too long ago um, on video, but this one is now finished as well. Turned out amazing. You can see, I love this little, I'll bring it up, the little cells that are going on right there. So pretty. But these are all from my Flower Pop series that you know is near and dear to my heart. Um, I thought that it would be fun to show you some of the dried pieces. Um, I absolutely love doing these. I could do them forever. They're just so much fun. I actually did a commission piece um, probably a week and a half ago. So I'm very excited to get that one finished. And so what I plan on doing is having a lot of my finished pieces behind me when I actually get on camera so that you can see the finished result. Um, this piece is just absolutely stunning. I would love to recreate it. Um, I think one of the things that um, is really important when I'm doing the flower pops is the swiping. What I use, how fast. Sometimes I will lay the paint down and not even spread it out. I'll just pull a paper towel over it. And that's where you see, that's where you get all of these effects so that you're able to blow the flowers. And it just amazes me how different paint brands together allow the stems to stay on top of the surface where others don't. Um, you know, I think um, when you use a, uh, when you use like gold or silver to swipe with your metallics, it swallows that black line, but it still, it still turned out pretty amazing. I love it. Okay, so now we're gonna get down to the canvas. I'm actually going to do a voiceover and go through this step-by-step -step with you on how I created this. And now we are gonna be working on a 20 by 20 canvas and I am gonna go over the paint colors. Let's get started. Hi, okay, we're gonna go over the colors. So as you know, um, this painting was done some time ago. So I do not have any golden manganese blue hue to show you but that was one of the colors. In addition, um, Blueberry Slush, I'm So Sad by Martha Stewart, no longer, she doesn't make it anymore. And it was actually like this, it was a glitter paint. And it's this light blue that you see through here and that shimmer right there is from um, Martha Stewart. So needless to say, um, I don't think she's bringing it back. So this painting has the Blueberry Slush it has the night sky and I mixed the night sky with creative inspirations. So it's these two together, golden, manganese, blue hue, this creative inspirations, Payne's gray, the blueberry slush. And my swipe color was just a uh, basic white. I believe it was artist loft. So, that's the colors that I used, and I was just so amazed with how this turned out. I'm actually going to, and I, I haven't got my, I haven't got my system. I cut these off because I'm gonna use it here, but we're gonna put some weights on them. We actually just got it. So anyway, I wanted to show you this up close so you can see how beautiful, and I'm trying to, um, Hopefully you can see without the glare, there's some sparkle up in here. It is just amazing. I, I absolutely love this piece. Love it, love it. It's my favorite and it's going okay. to Okay, so I just wanted to introduce my new series. I was gonna call it Bling It On and I thought, ah, that might be a little cheesy. Then I said, what about 
treasure series because it's going to have a lot of glass and a lot of shimmer and a lot of bling um, so I haven't really decided what I'm going to call it but it's basically going to be a lot of canvases with embellishments I love 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 fire glass I have a lot of colors I have stone and glitter and I love resin and um, all of those great things so you will see um, I have about four pieces um, ready to show everybody and um, I have this one here one of the first pieces that I did it does have resin on it and I'm sorry for the glare so you can see how pretty it is and I'm not resining all of them. I have a commission piece that I'm working on right now and I'm gonna varnish it. And um, I will show that one. Um, I videoed some of it. So these take time. This is not where you sit down, for me anyway. Um, I blended the paint on this, I let it dry. Then I come back and I go ahead and I put the stones down or I put the glitter and then I don't like it and then I add. So that's kind of what I did with this. And this is just a small one. We don't have the back or my signature or anything on it yet. Um, but this is one of the first pieces that I did. I am gonna be sharing, I just did a commission piece. It was a 15 by 30 um, that I already gave the client, but I did video and I'm doing another one very similar. So I am gonna video that. So um, I'm very excited about this series. Um, so I'm going to be trying to put one out every week or every other week just because of the time it takes with these. Um, but they are so much fun and they're so popular. So I just wanted to share this um, exciting news that I'll have a new series coming soon. So you'll see a flower, flower pop every week like always and then um, my bling it on or my treasure, seaside treasures, I don't know. If you have a great name, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Okay, let's get painting. Hi everybody, so we are going to lay our paints down on the canvas. That's what I'm doing right now. All of my paints are mixed with two and a half ounces or three ounces of Floetrol to one part paint. I have the colors listed down below in the description. And in this particular painting, when I was originally doing this, um, I really had no rhyme or reason, no pattern. And I just decided that um, it was a good time to paint. And ironically, this is one of my favorite paintings. And that's why I wanted to share it with you because I have a lot of new subscribers and um, I think it's just beautiful. And um, I have the finished piece. I actually decided to put um, varnish and satin varnish on it. So you'll be able to see the finished piece. I've had it some time now haven't wanted to part with it and so uh, now that it's ready to go um, I believe that I'm going to allow it to go into a new home since I've been enjoying it here um, I guess we all go through that where we have paintings we just don't want to um, separate with uh, so anyway I'm gonna put some music on and I'm gonna let you go through the process um, and I am going to stop and tell you some of the things. Right now I'm just covering the sides on the canvas. I found that it's really important, um, not so much that you can't fix it after the fact, but it just looks more natural. And um, when I don't do it before I start the swipe, then I sometimes regret it and then I'll have to add a... Um, frame my husband will make a frame for it so right now I'm just going ahead and I'm laying down more paint for the swipe and um, I've got my paints all spread out and I see some cells popping through which is really great and we're gonna go ahead and um, prepare the paper towel we spread some water on it and I let it set in so that you can see the white through the paper towel, and then I pull. The rate in which I pull, how high I keep the paper towel, all determine the background. So I'm not looking for a perfect swipe on every single canvas because it creates character and depth when I pull it at a different rate. 
This one I'm extremely happy with. I can tell there's a little bit of paint still on the canvas. And um, I am going ahead, and again, um, the canvas was a little bit bare on the swipe line, so I'm just tilting it. And as I tilt it, that is what created those beautiful lines um, that then looks like a snow-kissed mountain or, or um, ocean spray uh, that use ocean, ocean sea foam. Uh, but that's that's what created that. I was really glad. So when you have a little bit of extra paint on the canvas, it's okay. You can tilt it off, and it really gives you more character. Where when you do a thin amount, there, it doesn't give you a lot of room to play with the black with the background um, on the canvas. So I'm now torching it and preparing it for the next step, which is where I'm going to blow the, blow the flowers out. When I determine when I, where I'm going to put the flowers, it's all about some of the spots that I might see on the canvas that I don't necessarily care for. Um, it also depends on when I blow the first flower, how is the paint holding the shape? Is the black going up into the, into the flower or the white? So all of those things play a factor in how I place the flowers. So in this one, um, I wanted a little bit of white into the petals, and um, because I tilted a lot of paint off the canvas, I wanted to make sure that there was no bare parts on the canvas. So let's sit back. I'm gonna finish the flowers. Now that I've finished this piece, I would love to share that with you at the end of the video. I'll see you there, everybody. Hi everybody okay so we are now done with the petals and I'm going in I like the plastic um, tools instead of the metal tools they have a little bit thicker edge and they hold the paint a little bit better so I am using um, this palette knife the straight palette knife that's got a little bit thicker edge to it and I'm just using my black paint that's mixed the very same way and I am creating the stems. So it looks like it's staying on top of the paint very well, which is what I love. So now as I'm looking over the painting, I decide that we need to add another flower to give it a little bit better composition. So I'm adding a single flower. I will do that when I um, get done with paintings quite a bit. Um, it doesn't always have to be symmetrical, but sometimes, um, you know, how much canvas you have on one side compared to the other is what determines where I put the flowers down. Um, it's just so much fun creating these flowers and seeing it come to life. At, um, adding this extra one, I think, really made a difference in this particular piece. So right now I'm probably just sitting there going, hmm, is there anything else that I want to do? And um, I know that 
I was in awe when I was finished. I think I ran down and got my husband a couple times because I was just so thrilled with, with the end results. So um, I'm just torching and making sure there's no bubbles. Um, you know, we're not done when we're finished painting. Obviously, we want the dried results to be um, perfect. And, you know, I noticed the flowers, the petals. Um, I still wanted to put a little bit of white on the tips of the petals. I do that sometimes, um, you know, when I want more distinction in my petals. I could probably put extra paint on there and blow it out a little bit. But in this particular situation, with it being dark blue at the top, I wanted to go ahead and add the white on the tips of the flowers. So I am going to um, go through and put the white on and I will put some music on and we'll be back at the end. See you there. So we are finished. I did this at an angle so that everyone could see kind of a side angle on what I was doing. I was absolutely thrilled with the end result. It amazes me how you can do the same technique and you get so many different results um, each time you do one of these uh, flower pops, straw blown flowers, whatever, whatever you want to call them. Um, I got this um, inspiration from Olga Sobe um, back on Poppy Day, which is actually coming up here very soon. I can't wait to do my Poppy tribute as well as a big thank you to Olga for that. She's, ama she's an amazing artist and she's really an inspiration to me. Um, so I'm going to turn this around so that you can actually get a 
uh, view where you can see it. Um, it's just, I just think it's gorgeous. Um, and I, now that it's finished and um, going to be with a new owner, I did not want to let it go without sharing this with everybody. So I am so grateful for each and every one of you to watch and to comment and I cannot tell you enough how appreciative I am of each and every one of you. It just means so much. When you put your heart and soul into a painting and you have everyone that's watching and supporting you, there's no better feeling other than knowing that that painting is hanging in someone's home. Oh my goodness, that's so humbling and it's just so wonderful, um, such a wonderful feeling. So. I guess that's all that we have in this video. I am so thankful to be a part of this Choo Choo Tuesday night train um, with three amazing artists. Camille Amoy, if you haven't checked her channel out, you need to check out her dahlias. They are just breathtaking. And Holly with the Morning Pour, um, her end results on her pieces, it's just, it, it's so intriguing to see the, um, I don't know if you saw the last video with the bolder cells and just the, the color combinations are, are wonderful, not to mention her soothing, relaxing voice. And then we have Nate Bright, who is just an amazing person. He lives in the tropics, I'm so very jealous, and his art is spectacular. He continues to do neat techniques and different things. Um, check out all three of these channels. I have them listed in the description below. I hope everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful uh, week. And I will look forward to seeing you on the next video. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Please take care. Until next time.